The liver is a vital organ that has a great capacity for regeneration and a wide range of functions, including detoxification, metabolism, and production of various necessary biochemicals. The liver also supports almost every other organ in the body and is both vital to survival and prone to disease. Some of the common diseases that affect the liver include hepatitis, fatty liver, cirrhosis, and drug-induced liver damage. Let's focus on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is the buildup of extra fat in the liver of people who drink little or no alcohol. It is one of the most common forms of liver disease with a global prevalence of 9 to 36 percent. More specifically, it is estimated that 20 to 25 percent of the U.S. population and 25 to 30 percent of the U.K. population have some form of NAFLD with increasing future trends. People who are overweight or obese, have diabetes, high cholesterol, or high triglycerides are more likely to develop NAFLD, but some people develop NAFLD even without any of these risk factors. NAFLD is initially suspected if blood tests show high levels of the liver function test enzymes ALT and AST. Other liver diseases are then ruled out before a confirmed diagnosis is made. An ultrasound and a liver biopsy may be recommended on a case-to-case -case basis. Simple fatty liver is typically asymptomatic, but when symptoms occur, they usually include fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, nausea, jaundice, edema, and mental confusion, among others. Progression to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, may cause liver swelling, fibrosis, and cirrhosis, which are more difficult to reverse or control. There are no known medical treatments for NAFLD and NASH, and doctors typically address the risk factors that contribute to liver disease instead of the liver disease itself. For example, if obesity was the risk factor that caused a patient to develop NAFLD, then a doctor would advise proper weight loss regimen to treat this risk factor. However, with a growing number of patients being diagnosed with NAFLD annually, there is an apparent gap in the available medical treatments for these patients. There is a need for a product that could help mitigate liver damage from NAFLD. Introducing Liver Prime. Liver Prime contains silifos, a molecular complex of phosphatidylcholine and silibin. Let's break down the benefits of the two components of Liver Prime. First is phosphatidylcholine. PC is an essential component of biological membranes and also has antioxidant properties. The second component is silibin. Silibin is the most bioactive compound of silymarin, a known hepatoprotective extract from the milk thistle plant. It has been clinically shown to have antioxidant, antifibrotic, and anti-inflammatory properties. Unfortunately, bioflavonoids such as silibin are poorly absorbed by the body, either because of the size or its limited ability to cross the lipid-rich outer membranes of the small intestines. The solution? Phytosome technology. Phytosome technology enables the creation of silifos, a complex of silibin and phosphatidylcholine for better absorption of silibin. Several clinical studies have shown vast improvements in the absorption of silibin in silifos compared to silibin or silymarin alone. In fact, these studies show that silifos is about three times better absorbed than silymarin alone. Moreover, the total bioavailability in cirrhotic patients is 10 times more with silibin plus PC than silymarin alone. Silifos is not just better absorbed, but it has also been shown to have clinical benefits such as normalizing ALT and AST levels, as well as improving insulin sensitivity scores. Liver Prime's increased absorption makes it the most bioavailable form of oral silymarin available, ensuring that patients get the triple benefits of silibin, antioxidant, antifibrotic, and anti-inflammatory. Liver Prime, dual-powered, triple benefits.